the job market of 2025 won't look anything like what we see today. I'm not talking about small changes. I'm talking about a complete transformation that's already happening. And here's the wild thing. The winners won't be exactly who you expect. Let me explain why this matters so much. According to McKinsey's latest research, AI will automate up to 50% of current work activities by 2030. That's not just low-skill jobs. We're talking about highly skilled professionals too. Lawyers, doctors, developers, no specialization is safe. And based on what I'm seeing in my work at First Movers and across multiple industries with total job automation, I think that 50% of current work activities automated by 2030 is incredibly low. I think it will look more like 100% of all office jobs could be automated as soon as 2026. When you can deploy billions of agents to do it faster, cheaper, safer, better, why wouldn't you? But here's where it gets interesting and exciting. While some see this as a threat, I see it as the greatest opportunity of our generation. Because AI isn't just replacing jobs. It's creating an entirely new category of professional. The AI generalist. Someone who can harness AI to become an army of one. I've seen this transformation firsthand at First Movers where we're turning entire marketing teams into AI-powered forces for our integration clients. Listen to this. We recently had a brand marketing campaign we flipped from manual to AI-driven, where someone runs the machine we built and publishes the content. The results were absolutely staggering, a 9,900 increase in impressions and reach. That's not a typo. We're talking about essentially 100 times times what it was before. That's with a super dialed in content bot and great processes around it. Think about what this means. We're not just making things more efficient. We're completely rewriting what's possible. Our integration services are helping teams achieve 25x better results, not through massive hiring sprees, but by strategically implementing AI tools and frameworks that turn one person into an entire department. But here's what really gets me excited. This isn't just for big corporations or tech giants. This is democratizing opportunity on a global scale. We're seeing people from third world countries, people who might not even speak perfect English, but have sharp critical thinking skills, step into roles that would have been impossible for them just a few years ago. They're using AI tools to overcome language barriers, automate complex tasks, and run sophisticated campaigns that previously required entire teams. The key to thriving in this new world isn't about becoming a specialist in one area. It's about becoming what I call an AI generalist, someone who can leverage AI tools across multiple domains. Think about it like this. Instead of spending years becoming an expert in one narrow field, you can use AI to quickly achieve 80% proficiency in multiple areas. Jensen Huang said that our children will never need to program or code and that the programming language of the future is human. Listen to this clip. The infrastructure that was used probably five years ago is very different to the infrastructure that's being used today. But what Jensen's point was, I think it's a very important point, is NVIDIA has always been relevant. Historically, we see companies that are relevant at one phase of development, and then as the infrastructure changes, they become irrelevant. But you guys were able to innovate and and push through. Let's move to a non-AI related topic for a second. I want to talk about education. So today, knowing what you know, seeing what you see, and being at the cutting edge of this technology, what should people focus on when it comes to education? What should they learn? How should they educate their kids and their societies? Well, excellent question. I'm going to say something, and it's, it's going to sound completely opposite. Um, of what people feel. Uh, you, you, you probably recall, uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you, it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. And that the programming language, it's human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. For the very first time, 
we have closed the gap, the technology divide has been completely closed. And it's the reason why so many people can engage artificial intelligence. It is the reason why every single government, every single industrial conference, every single company is talking about artificial intelligence today. There are four fundamental powers every AI generalist needs to master. First, the power to build. Using AI-assisted development tools, you can create software and applications without being a coding expert. What used to take months and cost thousands can now be done in days or even hours. Second, the power to automate. This is about creating AI agents and workflows that multiply your productivity. Imagine having digital workers that handle routine tasks 24-7, allowing you to focus on strategic thinking. Third, the power to create. AI tools are democratizing creativity itself. Whether it's design, video, writing, or music, you can now produce professional-grade content in minutes instead of months. And fourth, the power to connect. Using AI-enhanced writing and content tools to build your audience and influence, amplifying your impact far beyond what any individual could achieve alone. The beauty of this transformation is that it's accessible to anyone willing to learn. You don't need an expensive degree or years of specialized training. What you need is the willingness to adapt and embrace these new tools. At First Movers, we're seeing this play out every day. We're helping companies install end-to-end -end AI integration services that are producing results that seemed impossible just months ago. It's hard to even dream of these possibilities until you see them in action. This isn't about replacing humans. It's about augmenting human capabilities to levels we never thought possible. It's about turning individuals into armies of one and small teams into powerhouses. The future belongs to those who can adapt, who can leverage these AI tools to become more capable, more productive, and more impactful than ever before. The question isn't whether this transformation is coming, it's already here. The question is, will you be ready to take advantage of it? Don't wait for the future to happen to you. Start learning these tools now. Start thinking like an AI generalist, because in 2025 and beyond, the most valuable skill won't be any single specialization. It will be the ability to harness AI to do what previously required entire teams. The opportunity is here. The tools are available. The future is waiting for those who are ready to seize it. Are you ready to become an army of one? 